Hello everybody, welcome to the United Stands, I'm Mark Goldbridge and this is your watch along, Europa League first watch along of the season um, and it's Manchester United at home to FC Twente. Uh, are we ready for this? I'm expecting goals from Manchester United to shut up skulls um, and everybody else who criticises and says that we've uh, we've got issues in front of goal because I don't think we do. Uh, Eight o'clock kickoff. Uh, I'm always live half an hour before, so I'm not early. Um, and we have already been live with the countdown to kickoff with Ricky, Jordan and Kev. Legends. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that, if you have. Um, so let's uh, have a look at the team news straight away for Manchester United and uh, I think the first observation would be you know reasonably happy I uh, don't know what your thoughts are so get them in uh, that's I can't I'm not a mind reader but I I, I think that yeah I, I'd say I'm reasonably happy with that side considering um we've got um a um a bit of rotation in there and we've got a little bit of um you know players who need a bit of game time as well uh, obviously, Maguire comes in for De Ligt. Um, not too sure we needed to do that, if I'm being honest. But I, when as, as have we spoken about Marcus Rashford not starting? Oh, FC 20. It could have been 1-0. Um, it's a big chance on the front post. And uh, he can't believe it. The, fr the first corner comes in, goes out to the far side. Delo's tracking it. He messes up. Cross comes in. Maguire's lost his man. Could have been 1-0. Uh, Delo pissing about in the corner, doing little flicks. And then Maguire just too slow on his man. And uh, could have been a could have been 1-0 20 there. He's done very well, Ahmad. He's done very well. Cut back, Bruno. No, good block. Ericsson. He went for the shot as well. Maybe he should have passed that to Rashford, to be fair. I would buy Baldi from Barca. What a guy, says Matt. What do I think of 20 so far, says uh, Martin. Um, look, they look to me like a, a well-organised Eredivisie side that's, you know, really should be dispatched, but maybe isn't going to get dispatched 4-0 like I thought. Uh, Maguire is playing so deep, I'm not getting good vibes from this game so far, says Ankit. Here's Rashford again. Edge of the box. Ahmad. I'd have gone Eriksen there. Martinez. Oh, what a save by the keeper. It would have been an OG. Good save by the keeper. Martinez heads it back towards the goal. I don't know whether Xerxes gets anything on it. It looked to me like it was the defender. If Xerxes gets something on this, it's a... No, it goes off the defender. Yeah, defender volleys it towards his own goal. It's a very good save by the keeper. Diego M says, what a save. And it was a very, very good save. From what would have been an own goal. We take it for granted because we, you know, we want to do it, but. Ericsson! Get in! Sony Ericsson! Don't know why I said that, but uh, what a goal. Lovely hit. He's having a renaissance. He's having a comeback. And that is an absolute banger. What a banger by Ericsson. What a hit. Um, he's definitely starting against Spurs now. Um... So, yeah, love that. Absolutely love it. I'd love to see it from behind. I'd love to see it from behind. And this is what you need in a game like this, really. Delo in the advanced position, and it just drops to Ericsson, and he absolutely smashes the shit out of it. I mean, he's a lot closer than I thought. For some reason, I thought he was on the edge of the box when he hit this, but he's actually a good couple of metres in, and, yeah, it's just pure power. Keeper can't do anything about it. Cameraman, do your bloody job. You want to be behind that? Have we got a camera behind it? Come on. We just want to look at it from behind. 1-0 to Manchester United. That's the main thing. And um, just takes a bit of pressure off in the first half, doesn't it? Because it was a bit disjointed. Well, 1-0 up after 35 minutes. And it's Ericsson who, look, at the moment, I don't think he's droppable. I definitely think there's going to be a game where it's going to cost us. But, you know, it's played very well against Palace. Scored tonight. You've got to start him against Spurs. But I do think, like I think a lot of people do, at some point, his lack of legs is going to hurt us. But I, I just don't think... I can't think of how I want to construct it. But I, I just don't think for one minute, Ericsson, this this was the plan. And, and that worries me. Because I think he stumbled upon this. 
and I don't think there's any longevity in it. And it's great that it's working, but I think like a lot of things with Ten Hag, when he buys a player, he sticks with the he, he sticks with the old player until they make a mistake again. I mean, we saw it with McTominay when Casemiro came in. We saw it with Maguire when Varane came in. Uh, we saw it with Maguire when De Ligt came in. And I, I think we're seeing it now. He's doing something that he sort of stumbled upon and he's going to stick with it until it costs us a game of football. Um, uh, Dara says, what's all the Bruno slander? The guy has barely touched the ball this half. Well, I know that's my point. He doesn't need to be shit to get subbed off. He can just be not making an impact to get subbed off. Like, you, you don't keep your spot because you're not playing shit. You know, you should, if you, people can be, when you're Man City and you're Arsenal and you're Liverpool, you take players off, you take players off who are having a seven or a six. Like, you know, I, I don't think he's had a terrible game, but I don't think he's had a good game and there are options on the bench. And this was the trouble with the Palace game. Stop keeping players on the pitch in the hope that they produce a moment and actually grab the scrub. What a tackle by Agate. Oh my God, Ericsson. He's made a right error. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. There you go. I, t I hate to say it. I hate to say it. But I have said this before. For a long time, Ericsson will cost us a goal. He will cost us a goal. And he's just cost us a goal. Agate make. I mean, look, we didn't deal with that run from the right back. He goes past about three United players like they're bloody jelly babies. Agate makes a strong tackle. And then I don't really know what Ericsson does. But um, you've got to say the run by the other lad was very good. I mean, watch. He goes past Rashford, barges him off. Past Bruno. Past Martinez. Past Maguire. Agate makes the tackle. And then Ericsson... Fucks up. I mean, to be honest, Ericsson makes the mistake. But look at this lad. Barges Rochford. Bruno gives up. Martinez can't do anything. Maguire gets absolutely sent back to bloody Hull. Forget Leicester. Maguire's back in fucking Hull. And then, you know, Ericsson makes the mistake. I mean, a catalogue of errors. You know, that could have its own porn category. Anal. Because we definitely got done there and it was shit. Near post glitch. Mate, well, I've just said there, where are the subs, mate? Fuck. He's just watched six of his fucking team fuck up. And he still stood there going, make some fucking subs. Make some fucking subs. Six of your team have just fucked up. They've literally just bantered you and you're there going, oh, carry on, keep trying. Rashford off. He keeps Bruno on. He's keeping Bruno on. Takes Rashford off, keeps Bruno on. Unfucking believable. That guy is undroppable then, isn't he? That guy is going to play no matter what. Ericsson's fuming. Rashford, I would not have took off. He's put Bruno on the wing. I mean, I, I mean that's a double bullshit whammy. The only, the only good thing is Xerxes for, for Rasmus. That makes sense. Mount's now playing in the Bruno role, but Bruno's gone right wing. Oh, Masrawi, we've won it. Play on. Agate. Bruno. He could have silenced me. He could have shut us all up and I'd be happy to be shut up. Oh, what a save on the back. Maguire put it in. Coming up. Oh, for fuck's sake, it just wouldn't drop. Rasmus was there. He can't believe it. They're on the break. He's offside. Surely, no, he's not. Well done, Ganacho. Well done, Ganacho. Good working back. I thought that was going to drop then. Just wouldn't drop for us in the box. He's not happy. He shouldn't have come off. Embarrassing. Absolutely fucking embarrassing. And that's what happens, mate, when you don't take a certain player off. 
Oh my god! Ah, we, we literally... It's like deja vu. We said this on Saturday. Bruno should have come off with 20 minutes to go. We literally did a show on Monday night. Time to sub Bruno. Everybody's been talking about it for four days and he gives him another fucking 90 minutes when he's shit. That was a shit performance. You, you've got to look at the manager again. It's as bad as Brighton. You've got to look at the manager again. There's no excuse for it. You cannot carry players at any level and your favouritism has got to go, mate. Fucking rubbish. No wonder Ericsson was fuming. It needs calling out. It does. I'm so, Look, it, you don't need to be Ten Hag out. People go from one extreme to the other. We were good against Palace. We Defensively, we never should concede that goal. It's shit. But look, there's a bigger problem here. Favouritism. You cannot keep a player on who's playing that shit. He was fucking rubbish. I'm not joking. First half, he was average. Second half, he couldn't hit the ocean from a boat with a pass. Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.